folks, recall that crazy Oscars night when our guy Will Smith lost it and gave comic Chris Rock a smack on stage? Yes, that was a different thing, wasn't it? Well, we were beginning to believe that Will's situation was going to calm down when another twist entered the picture. And it comes from none other than Eddie Murphy this time. We all know Eddie now, don't we? He is a legendary comedian. Having played the game for decades, he has a great sense of humor. However, his quips weren't exactly making people laugh this time. Indeed, one individual in particular appeared to be rather agitated. Indeed, you're right, Will Smith. Eddie chose to make light of Will's Oscar event, and oh, did it hit home. Eddie's humor did not sit well with our new royal. Will appears to feel as though those jokes are trailing him about like a foul odor, damaging his credibility and maybe jeopardizing his professional future. Is that even possible to imagine? This, after all these years in Hollywood as an A-list celebrity? It must be difficult. But again, that's show business, isn't it? This drama is getting more and more ridiculous by the moment, so let's get down to business, shall we? I'm quite sure you've heard about the Academy Awards moment that will always be remembered as the blow to the face? Yes, the 2022 Oscars incident in which comic Will Smith slapped comedian Chris Rock on stage during the ceremony. Why? Because Rock chose to make a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith, Smith's wife. It seems like talk of that startling occurrence has been going across the globe ever since. And to be honest, there has been a good deal of blowback. Will Smith was banned from all Academy events for 10 years after being forced to apologize twice. Chris Rock also shared his side of the event in a comedy special over a year after he was smacked on national television. Regarding the 2023 Oscars, however, let's not fool ourselves though happily, the matter of slaps remained a heated topic of discussion the whole evening. Now let me quickly run it past those of you who are unaware. I know what you're thinking, when did this entire Will Smith and Chris Rock thing start, and why? It all happened during the 2022 Academy Awards though. Presenced on stage, Chris Rock was presenting the Best Documentary Feature Award, doing his thing. He chose to make a joke about a possible G.I. Jane sequel as part of his spiel, making fun of Jada Pinkett Smith's shaved head. Initially, it appeared that Will Smith considered the prank humorous. He chuckled even. Jada, though, not so much. She rolled her eyes with evident displeasure, looking rather pissed up. After then, everything changed. Rising from his chair, Will walked confidently to the stage and gave Chris Rock a smack in front of the entire audience. Subsequently, he composedly made his way back to his seat, leaving the audience completely perplexed and wondering if they had just witnessed a staged performance or a real-life outburst. With a straight expression and cool demeanor, Rock told the crowd, Well, Smith just smacked me Smith shot back from his table, saying, Don't you dare mention my wife's name again, Rock, appeared surprised. He answered, man, it was just a G. Jane joke Smith, however, was having none of it and restated his prior caution. It's crucial to remember that Jada Pinkett Smith has always been transparent about her struggle with alopecia. In case you're not aware, alopecia is an autoimmune skin disorder that can cause hair loss on the face, scalp, or other body areas. As acknowledged by the American Academy of Dermatology, it's a major problem that obviously affects the Smith family and will sat through the entire performance after that. Smith was back in the news very quickly. It was for a more constructive purpose this time. For his performance as Venus and Serena Williams' father, Richard Williams, in the film King Richard, he was awarded the Best Actor Award. Smith seemed to make a subtle allusion to the prior event during his winning speech. According to him, Richard Williams fiercely guarded his family, making a similarity that was obvious to everybody. He next turned his attention to his co-stars in King Richard. I feel like God is expecting me to do too much and be too much in this world right now. I got to guard Anjanue Ellis, one of the toughest and most sensitive persons I've ever met, while we were filming this movie. The actresses that played Venus and Serena, Sania, Sidney and Demi Singleton, were also under my protection. I believe that my purpose in life is to uphold and love others, as well as to assist my people. He went on, tears welling up in his eyes and his emotions flowing high. I've come to understand that you have to be resilient to endure mistreatment in order to achieve what we do. You have to put up with people disparaging you. In our line of work, you have to put up with rudeness and pretend it doesn't bother you. Then he related some counsel that Denzel Washington had recently given him. The devil targets you at the height of your power. Smith said, I want to apologize to the Academy at that point. He broke down again, I want to apologize to my fellow nominees, it's a lovely moment, 
and I'm not sobbing because I got an award. For me, it's not about taking home a trophy. It's about having the ability to illuminate everyone. Life is modeled by art. I really do look like the insane parent they thought I did. Similar to what has been claimed about Richard Williams, you will do insane things out of love. So how did Chris Rock respond to the entire circumstance? Interestingly enough though, he chose not to pursue legal action. Smith did not have an official police report made against him. In fact, the majority of his responses to the event were used in his comedic performances. And he kept quiet about it all at first. However, Selective Outrage, his Netflix stand-up special, debuted exactly one week prior to the 2023 Oscars. And he didn't hold back, believe me. He said bluntly, people keep asking, did it hurt in response to the smack? Yes, it hurts just as much. My ears seem to be ringing all the time as if it were summer. He was quite clear that he wasn't going to play the victim though, even with that. You won't see me crying HT on Oprah or Gail's show, he said. In addition, Rock emphasized Smith's larger frame by remarking, Will Smith is a lot bigger than me. The man performs shirtless in movies. When was the last time you saw me in a movie, shirtless? I'm wearing a sweater even when I'm portraying a patient undergoing open-heart surgery. On cinema, Will Smith portrayed Muhammad Ali. Do you suppose I tried out for that part? In New Jack City I felt uneasy. He is huge even in animated films. As a zebra, I am. He resembles a shark. He continued after that. He also implied while quietly alluding to Jada's well-reported relationship with rapper August Alsina that Smith's rage was misplaced. Rock continued to discuss the slap at Adam Sandler's Mark Twain medal presentation a few weeks later. He was mostly there to honor Sandler, but he also managed to crack a couple of gags that were left out of his Netflix special. Rock said, Paul Pelosi is the only one who knows how I feel. It's just you and me, Paul, he continued, nodding to former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's husband. For those who don't know, a few months after the notorious Oscar slap, Paul Pelosi was hurt in an attack at their house. However, what about Jada Pinkett Smith, you ask? Was there anything she wanted to say about the whole thing? She did, in fact. On her talk program Red Table Talk, she discussed the incident around two months after the iconic slap. Why didn't to you, uh Chris, I apologize to you. Uh, my behavior was unacceptable and I'm here whenever you're ready to talk. Um, I, I want to apologize to Chris's mother. I saw an interview that Chris's mother did and you know, that was one of the things about that moment. I just didn't realize and, you know, I wasn't thinking but how many people got hurt in that moment. So I want to uh, apologize to Chris's mother. I want to apologize to uh, Chris's family, uh, specifically Tony Rock. You know, we had a great relationship. You know, Tony Rock was my man. Um, and uh, this, this, is, this is probably irreparable. Um, I spent the last three months um, replaying and understanding the nuances and, and the complexities of what happened in, in that moment. Um, and I'm not going to try to unpack all of that right now, but I can say to all of you, there is no part of me that thinks that was the right way to behave in that moment. There's no part of me that thinks that's the optimal way to handle a feeling of disrespect or, or insult. Her primary objective was to convey empathy and sympathy for Smith as well as Roth. She conveyed her sincere wish that these two gifted guys would be able to mend, talk things out, and make amends. We need them both, she replied considering the status of the globe today. As a matter of fact, our mutual need is more than ever. Jada has made advantage of her position to raise awareness of the terrible effects of alopecia. She asked people, including a mother whose daughter had been bullied as a result of the disease, to appear on the show who had personal experience with it. And how did Will Smith handle everything? The King Richard actor did, in fact, issue two separate regrets for his acts. On March 28, the day following the Academy Awards, he issued his first apology. He didn't hold back in his comments, calling his actions at the ceremony unacceptable and unjustifiable. 
he stated that all types of violence are poisonous and harmful. Then, on July 29th, he apologized on camera for the first time. He addressed the matter head-on in a YouTube video titled, It's Been a Minute. Even going so far as to explain why he didn't apologize to Rock after he won the Best Actor Award, just a few short seconds after their violent altercation. Jada rolled her eyes, did she tell you to do something? No. Um, it's like, you know, I'm, I made a choice on my own, from my own experiences, from my history with Chris. Jada had nothing to do with it. Uh, I'm sorry, babe. Um, I'm gonna say sorry to my, my kids and, and my family for the heat that I brought on all of us. Um, to all my fellow nominees, you know, this is a community. It's like I won because you, you voted for me and it, it, it really breaks my heart to have stolen and, and tarnished, tarnished your moment. Um, I can still see Quest Love's eyes, you know, it, it happened on Quest Love's uh, award and, you know, it's like I'm, I'm, I'm sorry really isn't sufficient. What would you say to the people who looked up to you before the slap or people who expressed that you let them down. Um, so there's two things. One, um, disappointing people is my central trauma. Um, I hate when I let people down. Um, so it, it hurts. Uh, it hurts me psychologically and emotionally to know I didn't live up to uh, people's image and impression of me and the work I'm trying to do is I am deeply remorseful and I'm trying to be remorseful without being ashamed of myself right I'm human and I made a mistake and I'm trying not to think of myself as a piece of shit. Um, so I would say to those people, I know it was confusing. I know it was shocking. Um, but I, I promise you, I am, uh, deeply devoted and committed to putting light and love and joy into the world. And, you know, if you, if you hang on, I promise we'll be able to be friends again. There's a part of me that believes that's the best approach to deal with insults or feelings of contempt. By then, I was lost in my thoughts. Everything seems hazy. Chris has responded to my mail indicating that he is not yet ready to speak. Smith said that he will reach out when he is. I shall thus apologize to you, Chris. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences Board of Governors acted rather seriously after the occurrence. They made the decision to prohibit Smith from going to any Academy functions, such as the Oscars, for 10 years. It's interesting to note that Smith resigned from the Academy a week before the announcement of these disciplinary measures. The Oscars also made the decision to implement some new policies in reaction to the entire scandal. They established a crisis squad in particular to handle any unforeseen situations that could arise during upcoming performances. You would think Will Smith would have hoped that the entire situation would be resolved, that everyone would move on and let it fade into the past, after all the drama, apologies, and repercussions. But regrettably for him, things didn't quite work out like that. It appeared as though everyone had their punchlines set and prepared for the 2023 Oscars. By no means had the episode been forgotten. Rather, it had turned into material for laughs, with presenters and comedians alike taking advantage of the chance to lampoon the notorious slap. Even the most serious tragedies appear to be able to be turned into a comedy in Hollywood. Jimmy Kimmel, the 2023 Oscars host, didn't hold back while discussing the smack. He played the issue light in his opening address, suggesting that there was a greater risk of another onstage fight now that so many Irish performers were up for prizes. We want everyone to feel safe here, especially me, he went on. So, we've established very stringent guidelines, you will receive a 19-minute victory speech and the Oscar for Best Actor if any member of this audience uses violence throughout the performance. Someone said, by removing Will's award, you're endorsing violence or else you could make a stronger statement against it then. With a tinge of irony, he said, 
But really, the Academy has a crisis team ready. If anything unforeseen occurs during the ceremony, simply proceed according to last year's arrangement. Take no action at all. Give the offender a nice embrace, if possible. Kimmel continued after that. He spoke about the incident several times over the course of the evening. Towards the end of the ceremony, Kimmel made a last-minute dig by walking up to a board that displayed the number of Oscar telecasts that went off without a hitch. Even though this year's ceremony went ahead without a hitch, Kimmel's addition of the number one to the total served as a stark reminder that last year's turmoil lingered in the minds of many. However, Kimmel wasn't the only one to make light of the circumstances. This time, it originated from comedy legend. Famous for his incisive humor and razor-sharp wit, Eddie Murphy decided to create a joke on the classic slap. Although humor can joke about anything, as everyone knows, Smith didn't seem to be amused by this particular joke. Murphy reaffirmed his love for all parties involved in the matter when reporters asked if he had spoken to Smith or Rock since the event. No, I haven't, but I love both of them, Murphy said. The 61-year-old Murphy also said that it was all love extra, that he had worked with Jada, and that he adored Will and Chris. Smith was apparently furious that Murphy was making light of the matter, since she had already experienced a great deal with the fallout from the Oscars affair. It appeared as though he thought Murphy was only stoking the flames and dragging out the dispute. Murphy laughed at the joke and answered, no, but he also expressed his admiration for Smith and Rock. He also said that he would have surely made a joke about the notorious slap if he had been hosting the Oscars in March. Murphy stated, you have to address it before you can move on in spite of Eddie Murphy's denials and assurances that the incident was amusing. Will Smith appeared to be offended by the whole event rather than laughing. Smith thought the joke had gone too far. Even after Murphy made it clear he intended no harm and was only parodying current events like comedians do. Smith reportedly believes that Murphy's joke at the Oscars harmed his career even more since it brought the incident back into the public eye at a time when he was attempting to move on and mend his reputation. It's evident that Smith saw this as a lasting effect on his career and public persona, rather than simply one joke, but in all honesty, it was more than just Eddie in a later Saturday Night Live comedy. Someone commented that Smith ought to target his wife with his rage. On this matter, he may also anticipate the backing of all comedians, at least those who like him, resort to humor rather than violence. Even with the slap, Jared McCarthy and Chris Redd laughed a little bit at the situation. A voiceover reiterated Rock's G. Jane joke about Jada Pinkett Smith, who has been open about her struggle with Ellipsia in the midst of this. Carmichael, filling in for Rock, approached Red Smith, expressing gratitude and asking for a picture. Guy, you're like my hero, I'm talking to Will Smith, and this is the coolest moment of my life," Carmichael said to Red Smith. When Chris Rock stepped up on stage, Red Smith responded by claiming he would return immediately. He then approached the stage to give Rock a smack before quickly returning to his seat. I appreciate how Red told Camille look good, feel good Smith remarked, repeating his remarks from the Oscars. Maybe Will should go after everyone in the industry if it's such a problem for him, he said. To be clear, Will, not Eddie was the one who caused things to go this terrible. Variety claims that the incident, which had a significant impact on Smith's life outside of work, led to the Will and Jada Smith Family Foundation shutting. ProPublica was able to get tax records that demonstrate the charity's revenue dropped dramatically in only one year, from a peak of 2 million in donations in 2020 to a low of 365,000 in 2022. A number of well-known Hollywood companies and brands that had kindly given in 2021, such as American Airlines and the powerful talent agency TA decided not to do so in the wake of the scandalous slap event. The consequences of the incident seem to be still being felt, affecting not just Smith's personal and professional life, but also his humanitarian activities. It is clear that Smith's activities have had a significant impact on how he is seen in the entertainment world even if the Smith family declined to speak to Variety on the status of their foundation. Variety was informed by a source with knowledge of Smith and Pinkett Smith's foundation that the nonprofit is closing down after 28 years. According to reports, the pair want to carry on their charitable endeavors in secret. The comedian doesn't seem to be nearly ready to let go of his ordeal. Smith might have thought that his career was suffering, but it wasn't having the same negative effects as he had anticipated. Evidence actually points to the notion that his career is still very much on course. Rather than wait to be expelled from the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, Smith withdrew from the organization ahead of time. 
He also received a 10-year prohibition on attending the Oscars. Despite the controversy around him, Will Smith's film garnered positive reviews from views from viewers, indicating that they were able to look past the event and appreciate his performance without allowing it affect their opinion. This implies that even while the incident created a commotion and could have momentarily tarnished his reputation, it might not have had a long-term detrimental impact on his career since people are often ready to get past their errors and acknowledge that everyone has times they're not proud of. Consequently, it seems that Smith may have overstated the incident's long-term implications, even if he may have first believed that it threatened his career. It makes reasonable that people would speak about Will Smith's outburst at a highly recognized event, and comedians would utilize it as material for their gags. But it almost looks as though Will Smith feels that none of this is his fault. It's just the nature of the entertainment industry when anything notable happens, especially something as dramatic as an onstage slap at the Oscars, it's certain to provoke conversation and chuckles. However, it is reasonable that Smith might take offense at jokes about him, or even become enraged. It may be better for Smith to realize that people won't go away on their own at this point since, as important as it is to remember, he was mainly responsible for creating the scenario in the first place. Rather, he ought to focus on his acting to demonstrate that he has taken the experience to heart and is resolved to do better in the future. Taking this approach instead of being resentful of others who made jokes about the situation could be more beneficial. How do you feel? Is Will Smith right to be angry? Kindly provide your opinions in the space provided for comments below. To make sure you never miss another one, please click the subscribe button if you enjoy this one. Keep it genuine, family, till then.